The story begins in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. Here in beautiful Italy, two rich families are deadly enemies. The families are named Montague and Capulet. Romeo, the son of the Montagues, falls in love with Juliet, the, daughters of, the daughter of the Capulets. In those days, people thought luck depended on the horoscope and stars. Since Romeo and Juliet were unlucky, they were, are called the star-crossed lovers. The action starts with a street fight between servants of the two families, and the Prince of Verona becomes very angry. So, do you see that girl over there? Oh, yes, yeah, she's pretty hot, yeah. yeah. He just likes it. <laughs> Draw that tool, <laughs> Capulet! <laughs> Yay! Ow! Oh. <laughs> 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 subjects! Enemies of peace. From now on, all street fighting will be punishable by death. <laughs> Here, ma'am, what is your will? How do you feel about marriage? It is an honor that I dreamed out of. Well, Paris wants to ask for your hand in marriage. I'll look to like. Romance in these times often began by putting the girl on a pedestal, high above the young man. So Romeo pretends that Juliet is a holy saint, and he is a pilgrim who worships at the shrine of her hand. Juliet is thereby entranced by his charm, ignoring the pleas of attention given by Paris, but she does not learn of Romeo's origin until later on. Soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. It is me. Speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, what Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by which any other name would smell as sweet. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. Thou not Romeo and the Montague? Either fair saying, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb. And the place of death, if any kinsmen of mine find thee here. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Night's cloak to hide me from their sight. Thou love me? I know thou will say I, and I will take thy word. O gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. See by yonder blessed moon I swear that tips with silver all these fruit free tops. O oh, swear not by the moon that monthly, monthly changes in her circled orb. Oh, what shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Good night. <laughs> Fire Lawrence secretly marries the two. Ah! Evil man! Thou hast killed me! Today, I was happy, but now, I'm great. <laughs> Where are the vile beginners of this fray? Oh, it was Romeo. You went that way, man. Well, for this offense, Romeo will be banished from this town. Romeo was then banished from the town, and Juliet was set to wed Paris because her parents never knew that she had wed Romeo. Because of this, marrying a, someone she did not love, she set out to an apothecary and got a potion, a sleeping draft, that would make her look dead for 48 hours until she could escape and find her beloved Romeo once again. Oh, my sweet Juliet! Oh no, my sweet Romeo!
Don't butter knife. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, you, okay, Chloe. 